Hey guys, Kelton Weigelt here, gonna do some developer commentary on the game I made called Shaman Saga Dungeon Heroes. Um, this game was a the result of a six week game jam or school project type thing. Um, began as my solo project to teach myself how to make a 3D game. So really for me this was more like um, a three month long project. Um, this was the first 3D game I ever made, so it began as just um, me trying to figure out how to make a 3D game. So I basically programmed all the all the AI, all the third person controllers, um, all, basically everything except for the main menu. Um, so it was a big learning experience for me for programming. And so it was the first time I really used uh, state machines. I had a multiplayer camera controller, you know, that would keep all the cameras, all the players on screen at all times. Um, it was also the first time I ever managed a project so large. So I was project manager, um, lead developer, uh, and vision keeper of the of the group of the fourteen. So it was quite a challenge for me to work with so many people and uh, keep keep everything on track. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and I think the artists really went above and beyond for this game, as you can see. So the I love the two D art you see here for the main menu. And so here's another great page from the artists, and they even added some Unity particle effects there that are coming up. Okay, so I'll just do a playthrough of probably around the first level. I tried, I was playing through it before, and this is the second attempt on the video. Uh, I kept on dying on the second level, couldn't get past it with just one person. So I'm playing for both characters. So it starts out with um, a little story. And here we have some little tutorial, so I'll just explain the game. So it's two characters, each one has a heavy attack and a light attack. So that's the light attack, and that's the heavy attack. And then they have this swapping mechanic. So you see that it's a cool effect. And so now, if I swap once, then now I'm the purple guy. If I swap, I can swap back. Um, and here's what happens if only one other person is holding it. So one person wants to swap. You see the, the screen is glowing, basically saying to the other guy, I want to swap. And the, the little thing, the little icon in the center will start to glow and vibrate a little bit. And when I swap, it'll, it'll, it does that little flip animation. Um, so this game, uh, I designed this game basically to be a co-op game uh, with a really hard co-op focus. So basically everything, um, revolves around getting the players to work together. So for example, uh, the enemies have two different colors. I program these ones to basically, the ver their very first enemies don't even have line of sight detection on them. Um, so if the purple guy hits the yellow ones, they get bigger and they get stronger. So only the yellow player can damage the yellow enemies. And only the purple player can damage the purple enemies. You see, there's this also I put the stencil outline shader when you're behind a wall. Uh, so, I still need to, really need to change that coin sound. So here we have um, the first swap force where the players need to swap because then the barrier goes down once they kill the turret. You can see, so swapping one hit kills anything between you. So it's basically really OP actually. Um, we made it OP uh, uh, one week before it was finished, basically to get people to use it more. So people weren't using it very much. Uh, here's just like another classic co op thing where we both have to on the platforms. Um, what I did there, I programmed the camera to zoom out, keep the spawner in focus because that's a spawner, so it's going to be spawning uh, waves of enemies until you destroy it. See, I'm just holding down swap on both. And so when you swap, is really quite strong in this build. You see, uh, there's controller support and mouse keyboard support, so I'm playing on once with the controller and then I'm playing WSAD so I can move both at the same time. This is how I did the vast majority of the testing. And now the turrets need to be shooting. And they're quite loud, so... I'm 
so I had time only to program. I made uh, two different AI types. Um, so we got the melee guy, and we got the uh, the ranged guys that you see shooting from distance. Uh, here I'll try to try to buff him. So you see now that he's buffed. He'll actually he has two different attacks. And then, yeah, we'll see that we can see the, um, the range guy. And the range guy, we get some quite cool behavior where he's actually looking where you're aiming. So the second I begin aiming at him, you can see he begins uh, dodging. So this gives him kind of like a water skipper type uh, feel where he's, oh, I aim at him. Oh, he's, he's dodging. And this was the first time the artist ever did... Um, Really, I think 3D, uh, 3D rigging and animation. And so you, the animations are a bit stiff, but really for the first attempt, I think it's really quite good. Here, another thing where you know to keep force the players to kind of stick close to each other here with this mechanic. This is like the classic uh, Last of Us uh, Uncharted. Oh, gotta boost me up the ledge type thing where you gotta. Play as close together you now. Here, I'll try to cheese through this. It's quite hard to play for both players, but I do have a lot of experience doing this because this is how I tested the game a lot. And for this one, I think I'll just run through it. Okay, so I keep dying when I was playing this, so I'm not even gonna bother trying. But there are two more levels we made. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I forgot to show you one character has a dash. I don't think I ever done that. So one character can dash around. Um, yeah, so overall, I think the. You know, uh, we, we d were able to demo this game in Munich. And we got a lot of feedback, uh, a lot of things, little small things we could improve on in this game. Um, we didn't actually implement most of it because uh, you know how it is with old projects, old projects, you know, school projects. Nobody, everybody says they want to work on it, but then nobody ever really does. Um, but uh, quite happy with this game when we demoed it in Munich. Um, people were having fun playing it. Of course, the it, you know. It, definitely has its issues, but for the first ever 3D game uh, and six week project, I'm quite happy with it. I think um, the co-op, the, all the different things to encourage co-op uh, in the game design really helped this game out. Um, yeah, and overall, so like I said, I'm quite happy with this project. Um, yeah, if you want to download it, uh, you can. Um, you need one controller and the other player can play on PC. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the commentary.